greet you all. Uh, it's nice to be in the Zulu Kingdom. Uh, today it is, is indeed <laughs> the warmest place to be. You would see that our stand is quite different this year. One of the key things that we said to ourselves is that Gauteng as a destination has got a you know multiple value propositions. And in most cases, we do not take an opportunity for a platform such as Africa's Travel Inda. How we show up at Inda this year must actually encompass all the value proposition that we have, uh, you know, for um, you know for the destination. Just one look at our stand, they get to understand what the offering of Gauteng is. We are going to use the properties that we have, events that we have, even those that we are still bidding for to come to our destination. We've got infrastructure to host sporting events. You'll see how we have now showcased the motorsporting uh, you know, offering on our stand so that it's experience, experiential uh, in nature. From an eventing point of view, we've got Kailami 9 Hour, so people begin to actually see what it is that we offer as a destination, not just by us telling them, but by just looking at how we showed up, uh, you know, uh, this year at Tinder. We've got now this hashtag GP cycling. A lot of people don't know that you can actually go and cycle, uh, you know, around the cradle. Uh, on an average, on a weekend, that area receives around 4,000 cyclists. So it begins to give you a sense of what we have. We've got the game reserves. We've got lodges around the new game. Uh, you can actually do game drives. So there's a lot of adventure, uh, you know, offering as well, at, you know, that side. But also the safari uh, part of things. We're saying you don't have to drive far. We've got that offering in, in our backyard. So one of our key focus as Gauteng Tourism is to harness the relationship that we have with the rest of the continent. Our key source markets, the highest number of visitors that we receive in our destination is from the rest of the continent. So we acknowledge that. We build a skills pipeline for the tourism and hospitality industry for our continent. So we begin to feed off each other's uh, strength as a, as a continent. That's what Africa's Travel in Dubai is all about. That's why it's called Africa's Travel in Dubai. I think in 2022, the South African tourism industry met and we said, let's look at the markets that will grow the tourism economy in our country. And India is one of those markets. China is one of those markets and the rest of the continent. So with us meeting India and, you know, Indian buyers and media and interacting with them and showcasing what we have to offer, both from an SME point of view, but also from our iconic, uh, you know, offering as, as, a, as a destination. And I think, uh, you know, at the Digisim uh, uh, launch event, that's where we're going to do launch things like our Carlton Travel app, wherein uh, we're going to, at the press of a button, you will know what's happening in Gauteng. That on its own becomes an air access uh, you know, platform where if you're sitting anywhere in the world, you'll be able to access the travel app, you'll be able to access the products uh, you know, in there, and you'll be able to transact and book. Uh, so, so market access, it's, it's, it's a lot easier. Tourism is a very important sector uh, into our economy. Uh, in Gauteng is one of the 10 high growth sectors that is meant to drive a job creation in our uh, province, but also uh, support entrepreneurs and ultimately growing our economy and uh, our GDP in Gauteng. Thank you very much.